So that's what we're going to do. Thank you very much. Thank you, my leader. Um, quickly, uh, before the mic will be passed back to the uh, moderator, uh, we quickly want us to quickly um, welcome um, Elder um, Pereke. Please, um, Elder, can you unmute yourself, sir? Can you unmute yourself, my Elder? Can you hear me? to um, uh, my moderators, uh, please bring in other people. Um, I would like to bring in the next speaker. Um, uh, I believe Mr. Julius. Mr. Julius, can you um, you unmute yourself and ask your question? Thank you very much. all over the world. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, sir. We can Hello. hear you. You can ask your question. Greetings all over the world. Please. Yeah, yeah, uh, Julius, please, I'll, I'll, I would like you to make it very, you know, clear so that we, our leader will know where to handle your question. What are the guarantee of the safety of the Biafran? In which aspect? Hello, what I'm asking, if the Biafran comes, the the safety of the people is what I'm asking for because for now uh, the 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 northerners is like they are taking over everywhere. Then when people have that interest of say this thing will come, what is their guarantee? Of course, our leader is here to answer your question. Um, uh, I, I believe we heard you well and clear. Majita, please put our leader on the screen. Um, yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, my, my leader, um, according to the question um, of um, uh, Elder Julius um, Chuku Yim, he was asking that what um, will be the set, or should I say, um, what is the assurance for Biafra safety? Because right now, um, the full and have a that what will be, what is our safety as we speak? Uh, is he having doubt that the Afra may not come as a result of the? And um, the, the, the fear was that some people are still afraid that uh, maybe Biafra is not going to make it. Or that is exactly what this Royal Majesty is saying. And in his question, he also asked, they want to, they want uh, the presence of 
uh, the representative of IPOB to come to his kingdom, that they, they have a strong and um, 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 agile youth, both men and women, who are ready to die for, for the freedom of their people. Then you speak to, um, uh, I'm sure the, His Royal Majesty is listening to me. Um, pass the details of, of His Royal Majesty to my secretary, and I will make such arrangements. I don't want anybody to have any doubts. The reason why Biafra is not here is because we are not united. If Ibibio, Efik, everybody from, from Ogoja all the way to, to, to Kalabari we have to be together, how can Fulani stop us? We are the ones holding ourselves. We are the ones stopping ourselves from becoming free. Once we are united, they can't do anything. But we, we start this process, somebody goes, collects money from the back, goes behind the village and gets a snap for them, goes to Nisaba and starts to talk. Anyhow, and then the whole thing collapses. If we are united, nobody, nobody can stop, nobody can. We don't even need to wait for, for up to four weeks. I'm just, can you imagine if we're all united from Igodomi go all the way to Bakasi? Who will stop us? Who is the person that will stop us? No force on us. So we are the ones holding ourselves. And their friend is going to come. And I'm going to send people, high level uh, uh, emissary, to His Royal Majesty. So that we can take it on from there. But Biafra is coming. It doesn't matter what we do. God has ordained it and it is coming. Thank you. Thank you very much, my leader. Thank you very much. Um, I think um, I should quickly pass the hand to the co moderator. If you have the mic, we out. Imiata Asawo for taking that question from His Royal Highness. Um, I'd like to call on uh, Mr. Tenny to give his own question so we can we can get this along because there are other grassroots questions that we need to ask. So Mr. Tenny, can you um, unmute yourself and ask your own question? Thank you very much. Sorry, I think Mr. Tenny just left. The network from the zoo is very disturbing. So uh, <laughs> as we all know that they are complaining. Some cannot even um, log into the app. So it is um, and this this very app is a very simple one whereby it won't um, disturb concerning network. So um, I believe um, the network is very is very disturbing. So I would rather say let us go to um, um, Comrade Oye DK. Please um, let Comrade Oye DK take the mic before the other people come in. Okay, um, Comrade Oyedeke, can you um, can you unmute yourself and um, ask your question? Thank you very much, sir. Asawa, if he's um, if uh, Mr. Ogunda is not with us, we can move our head to. The you can write the question. You can write the question as a text. Yes, or you can write down the question in a private chat and we can get this out. Um, I would like to take the next question. Um, this is, I believe, is from the query part. They said, will Iquiri and Anioma be part of the Allied nation if um, in Biafra or will they be their own separate states? Um, my leader, so yeah, this is to you. Will Ikweri and Anioma be part of the Allied nation in Biafra, or will they be their own separate states? Uh, it is something that they, they, they so right now they'll be separate, and then it's for their legislature to decide what they do after that. The people will decide if they want to be part of the wider Igbo family, Igbo nation, or if they want to be alone. But I, what I find very, anyway, we have crossed that. The referendum will be done on the basis of Anioma. We will treat Anioma as a separate entity. We put it the same thing. Then they decide for themselves what they want to do. We don't want to have anybody accuse anybody of feasibly, uh, um, uh, you know, inducting them into something they're not aware of. Because Biafra is going to be a land of democracy. 
Yeah. You are going to ask the other people, do you want to be part? Do you want to be on your own? Do you want to be part of um of um Ibo Nation? Yes or no? Simple. And you the same thing, yes or no? And then the, the majority will carry the vote. Well, what do I want? I want all Igbo people to be together. All Ijo people to be together. In fact, I want every can be bigger because they're the same people to be one. I would prefer a situation whereby Igede and the Doma are one. If they want to be separate, fine. If they want to be one, fine. Nobody is forcing anybody. But for the purposes of our referendum, and Yama will be treated will be treated as a separate entity. So also will you query them? They decide where they want to go. If they want to be a separate nation, wonderful. They want to be part of the Igbo nation, also wonderful. Let me tell you, so yeah, um, one more question before I bring in our brother Tenny. This is also from the grassroots. It's about um, our choice, or rather, uh, can I say the choice for using a gemma as the currency? So um, the grassroots, they are they are curious as to why a gemma um, as the currency for Biafra. You may say so yeah. Jama is the currency because that was the currency of Biafra, used everywhere. If you go to, I think it's either Akwaibom or Cross River, Akwaibom, if you go to the logo of Akwaibom State, you will see a Jama there. So it was used widely. It is not, it is not, it's not a new currency. It is a Biafran currency. And as I've said before, and I'll have this debate with anybody, anywhere, any day, everybody in the current East and um, their so-called Midwest, uh, all Igbo people, I can prove it to you with facts and figures. The thing is that the foreign is did a lot of work on us. I don't know, it's, no, it was started by the British. And because the Igbo people never want on any conquest of anywhere. The reason why Yoruba is won was because the uh, people of Oyo left Oyo and conquered the Jebu people. Conquered um, uh, uh, Alajes that made them speak one language on Yoruba in the north. The house has conquered other people to make them speak house language. The reason why we're having this debate in the East is because the Igbo people never actually conquered anybody. And I find it quite funny that those that went on conquest and conquered other people are saying to people who did not conquer anybody that they are the ones who are domineering. It's, it's just like the, the like bombing or when bandits are in Zamfara. It's exactly the same thing. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. A gemma was used across the entire East because we are one people. The people you have today in Azon, in Ejoland, are uh, people that came from Arochubu. Everybody is the same. And I, I keep saying to people, why don't we read? Why don't we just go to the library and Google something and start reading a book? Go and read a book. When the white man came, a white man could not distinguish between an evil man and an individual man could not distinguish between an Igbo man and somebody from Anang. If you go to Google now, you will write in a video, the first two things you will see is Igbo, related to Igbo. You put in a job, a job, and you put in a job in Google now, do it, it's a simple experiment. The next thing you will see, a job related to Igbo. Yet we keep having this debate because the foreigners have conditioned us to hate ourselves. And that is why we are all suffering and it must come to an end. Thank you. Let me tell you for that um, brilliant answer. I would like to bring in um, Mr. Tenny. Mr. Tenny, please, can you come in and ask your question? You've got three minutes. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, Mama DK1, our great leader, I'm very happy to be in this, uh, in this forum. I'm from uh, Okwani in Delta State. My name is Onya Ogochuku. Uh, I'm from a uh, native of uh, Ashaka and Abe, combined together in the same Okwani. And we, in Okwani. We, can you re, can you ask your question? Yes, yes, yes. But before I go straight, uh, because uh, I have to introduce myself because my question goes by by my by my by my clan because we the we the Okwani people. I'm a coordinator here in France. We, the Okwani people, I used to speak to many of my people there, many of the union. Why are you people not supporting the Biafran struggle? I know we have a lot of people, but we still need a, a, a lot of the grassroots. But they, they, they always tell me one thing, 
that in Biafra map, in Biafra map, we don't have Okwani as as a clan or as a state or anything there. Or, all what they have is Agbo, and they have a uh, and we don't have anything Okwani. So how can we leave uh, Nigeria and go to Biafra where 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 our identity will be lost? I tell them that no, with Biafra we can still represent our own nationality, which is Okwani people. Now they turn it to Okwale. But we are Okwani. That is my question, our Supreme Leader. Thank you, Mr. Tani. I'm sure um, our leader will answer your question in a moment. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear, sir. Yeah, I said that Okwan is just like somebody saying that Ongwa is a nation. This is a, is a clan. Okwan is a clan. The maps you are seeing are the maps of provincial district headquarters, like Asaba, like Harbour. Even if you're flying on a, it's a good thing you're in France, even if you're flying on a jet, on a jet plane, and you see the map come up on the screen, about they only put the names of places they feel that people know that are very prominent, say administrative headquarters where people are used to. It doesn't uh, disregard any other place. Ukwan is a clan, it is not a nation. And in this new Biafra, as I said before, everybody has a representation. Are people having fun in Nigeria? Why would even anybody, I would say, give me anything else apart from Nigeria, if I'm a human being. Why would even anybody, Fulani are in your villages killing you, massacring you, taking your land, and you're still even contemplating if you are to leave that hopeless view or not? I find it shocking. Our people, they, they, they astonish me sometimes. Go and tell Ukwane people, not Kwale, not Ibusa, it is Ibo Binozo, Ibo Binozo. Ibozo, Ibo Binozo, Ukwane, Ukwane, not Kwale, all Ibo. I don't know, we are the only people that hate ourselves, and I don't know what is wrong with us. I have no idea. I don't, I don't know who did this thing. I don't know the type of concussion Fulani mixed up and gave to us. I don't know. If by separating yourself from your people, how can you survive as a race? How can you survive? I'm asking you. <laughs> the same thing, the same mistake you're going to make. Remove yourself from the Afghan. When they came for cancer, we were nobody said anything and he was killed. Divide and rule. Why must we, it's only us that allow ourselves to be divided by outsiders. Can you from Ukwane go to Fulani and divide them? What is wrong with us? Oh dear me. Please, the next question. Yeah. Thank you very much. I think Thank you very much. We have um comrade um my boy in the house. Please um uh, I'm going to give him the the mic um to speak and introduce himself while we wait for our leader. Can you hear me, Comrade Mabo? I think we move to the next person if it's having to know the EFT. Maybe probably to remove Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Um, Adam, you can go ahead. Okay, I'm just joining you guys now, but I was waiting for uh, my brother Olajiti to uh, before he said it's eight o'clock. That was time they are going to start the program, but I was waiting before and uh, later before he now said as you come alive. So it is good that I will still be at the queue. Let you guys are discussing before I will contribute whatever thing I have to contribute. Thank you. Um, thank you, but um, uh, we're hoping that
us because this is your spot. So if you've got any question, our leader is right here with us. Uh, any concerns at all, you can ask so that he can answer you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Uh, for me, um, first, of, first of all, my name is Ekron with Adam Ogomogo Mabo. Um, I'm the chairman in Georgia Council, IYC Abuja. Um, I think the question I could have asked, let me hear from the discussion and let me also know the, to the topic we are discussing about that can also prompt me to ask questions because I just come in, I don't know what they are discussing for now. So I just, let me just, that's why I said, let me still be on the queue to listen carefully about the discussion before I can contribute and also ask my question. Thank you. But I'm here. Don't go anywhere. Ask your question. I'm here. The land was disturbing. Go ahead. I believe... Uh, Come in, before you can go ahead and ask your question. There's no... Ask your question. I'm here. The, the, the line is... Um, What's the is, is disturbing a bit. Go ahead. The... The question your people are asking the leadership of IPOB, and as you can see, he's here with us. So please, um, what are the questions or what are the things you have in mind to ask concerning the resurrection? Okay, thank you. Um, first of all, uh, I want to first of all to commend the people of Biafra for the agitation and like uh, uh, my brother Onajite who always knows about me that we we always say that we are not part of Biafra and whatever we say we are not part of Biafra we have a reason but sometimes because everybody have right for his, his or her own opinion based on the reason where you understand to and I believe, thank God, that uh, uh, our brother in the county is here. The question I want to ask is that this... Biafra, which... You can fly. Okay. So now, you know... We, such people like us, we believe in John Nation, John Nation and Niger Delta. And the contradiction there is some are saying they are Biafra, some are saying they are Niger Delta. But when you look at all of all, we, we still belong to the same South South geopolitical zone and Southeast geopolitical zone and the Southwest geopolitical zone. The question I want to ask my brother is that. When you talk about Biafra, and uh, I listened to my brother and uh, our brother also, Asari Dukubo, when issues between them were going on about this Biafra. Because in every uh, agitation, there are leaders, and leaders also cut across from different ethnic nationality. And we also know that we have the Southeast, we have the South South. We are from the South South, precisely from Delta State and his job by tribe and uh, the question i want to ask is that the biafra which is always sound there and fra this is where some issues come about where does this connotation come from and who are the people behind this biafra that is the first question i want to first ask before i ask other question again uh, thank you very much thank you 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 said you're south south so you accept the the tag of being from south south and niger delta uh, two names that have no meaning there is nowhere in this world in any geography textbook where you can see south south uh, there is a river called river nile that runs into the mediterranean sea in alexandria in egypt that place is called the Delta region of the Nile. The Mississippi River also has a delta. 
So, what I'm trying to get across to you, my dear brother, is that the name Delta has no meaning. It is, it is only a name answered by people who are not sure of who they are, people who are confused. And the Eastern nation is not a confused nation. If you say Eastern nation, I will listen to you. If you say Ijo nation, I would listen to you. But that um, concoction of South South or Niger Delta doesn't work with me because only people who are not sure of who they are will ask a Niger Delta or South South because South South doesn't exist. It was a mere concoction by Dr. Alex Ekweme, which they agreed to. So why don't you have North North? Where is West West or East East? You and I have more in common than a Fulani man and a Hausa man living in Sokoto. But I give it to you. You want to be alone. You want to divide. I, I concede. I'm a Democrat. I don't care whoever you want to stay. But coming to your question, the man that you should have that should have answered this question is oh, is an German, Frank Opigo. And when he came up with the name Biafra, the people were confused. But God did one thing that was miraculous. Ujubu did not argue with the name. The name came from an Ijo man, which means that Ijo wants Biafra more than anybody else. But I'll tell you where the name comes from, and I'll give you three names. And I want you to bear one thing in mind. I'm from a place called Afara. Afara. If you put B-I in front of it, which means come, it comes by Afara. Afra means the land of the people who we are joined together. If you go through your history books from the beginning, I, I restart, I went back to the beginning. I don't start from the middle. What we are called Biafra, denoting our march through the Afar region of Ethiopia for the final wave that came. Those that settled around a place called Ethiop River. That's how the name came up. You have Ethiop River. Even in Delta State, the deepest river in West Africa is the Nidal of Africa. Our name was forced to be. People still talk about Portuguese. I said they don't know what I'm talking about. Biafra. Biafra. And they shortened to Biafra. All the maps have all these names. And this Biafra used to be a kingdom. A kingdom under God. Almighty in heaven, not by man, by God in heaven. And when I was preaching this afternoon, I said to you people that there are some things about Biafra that people don't know. The white man knows about you more than you know yourself. That is why the white man doesn't want Biafra to come. It means come and join. Biafra means come and join. That is our name, not given to us by the Portuguese. Because if you look at the history of Biafra, the first name was Biafra. Second name was Biafra. Some called it Biafra, yes. And then lastly, it was Biafra. Go and check it very well. And I will conclude by referring you to the to the scriptures, the Bible, where it was said that my daughters from across the rivers of Ethiopia will bring gifts to my temple. So says the Lord of hosts. And if you go to the map of, I think it was um, 1368, it is there. Beafa, the very first map, to recognize our sojourn through the Afa region of Ethiopia. And then the same God that we worship said, you will come from beyond. He did not say inside Ethiopia. You will come from beyond Ethiopia to come to worship God. And that is the land of Biafra. Geographically, politically, spiritually, we know what we're talking about. There's only those who are blind in this place who cannot see it. And they've, I've led, no wonder Facebook shut down my, my old um, um, account. You have go to, I, it was laid out in black and white so they can see the journey is taken. Only, only, only a job people who are educated enough to know what our name was. A job, the same place you come from. If your ancestors, your forefathers, they are telling you you are from Biafra, who are you to say you're from Niger Delta? What is your proof? And I've already proven to you that Niger Delta, my dear brother, has no name. Niger means nigger, black, awful, absurd, ridiculous. In French, it's called Niger. In in um in um in Latin it's called nigger. You're telling me you're from nigger delta. That is very shameful indeed. But I'm sure and I do hope that you will go back and do your research and come up with a far more credible name. 
and I repeat again and again and again a John nation came from our Tugu. Ask and kill bricks. Ask and sorry, Dr. Boy. Ask them. And sorry, Dr. Boy, do you have Arochuku blood inside you or not? And your bricks, do you have Arochuku blood in you or not? And I will, I'll go a little bit for the people don't know history because Fulani came and confused all of us, Britain before them. There is a place called Omuadolu in the Korean land. Omuadolu, the only place where a land is named after a woman. Land in Igbo nomenclature is not, can never be named after a woman. Do you know why they were called Omuadolu? She was the only survivor when they stopped slave trade. She founded that very community. Now you understand, we have our history, we have all the facts intact. It's only that people don't want to learn because of what the, the, the same way that Fulani deceived the Yoruba people is what some of you are falling for today. Fulani have been deceiving you from time, you don't want to learn. They deceive you, you don't want to learn. Now they have brought Janja to your village. Omar Adolu, for your information. These are the things that people do not understand about our history, who we are. We are one people. I said one people, not two, not three, not four. One. And all the days of my life, I will preach. Why? I am related to you by blood, not by religion, not by conquest. I said by blood, by DNA. And that's what we're fighting for. Not fighting for it so that we can be one and uh, one monolithic, monolithic Biafra. No, 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 no. You'll be on your own. I'll be on my own. As Lord and Abraham did. Be on your own, I'll be on my own. But I'm telling you that together we can stop the Fulani from coming to take our land. By then they can do whatever they like. That is why Ugodi hasn't been cleaned up. That is why they can kill some cancer who won't get away with it. Because we are divided. The sooner we reason, the better for all of us. Thank you very much, my dear God. Yeah, I. Thank you very much, uh, my leader. Okay, I think, uh, um, Comrade Dudu, you want to take the mic, please? Um, kindly do. Yeah, I was thinking with my brother Ugomugo, if I'm right, sorry if I didn't pronounce it very well. I thought he has two questions, so I thought uh, maybe he should finish the take on if uh, I'm right. Thank you very much. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. It's unmute. Unmute. Comrade Mambo, please uh, unmute yourself. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I want to thank uh, our brother, Enam uh, Kanu. The, the last statement he made that uh, so pleased my heart is that he said, everybody will be on their own. I love that statement. And if everybody will be on their own, if some persons observe this Biafra struggle as specifically, specifically as an evil struggle, let me listen to you guys. Some people view it as an evil struggle. Most especially because he said the name was first connected by a German. The Biafra name was first connected by a German based on what he stated there. Now, if our brother can say that everybody can stay on a home, can we fight a struggle through abusing one another, through accusing one another, without having a roundtable discussion? That is my second question. And it's a very good question. We can have a struggle. The answer to your question is that we can have a struggle without the rank, without the abuse, without fighting, and with a round table. And I'm going to tell this very forum today here. I don't know how people are watching all over the world. Uh, what I've never said before. The person who was prominent from the coastal region of Biafra when we were beginning is Asari Dokubo. Ask Asari Dokubo, did I send representation to him before? Did we sit around the table before to discuss this or not? Write it down so you can ask. 
and come back to me, ask him, did I send people to him? How many times did I send people to him to agree all of these things? Did we agree or not? Did I, who insulted each other first? I want you to write it down. Who insulted each other? Did, did I go out to insult anybody? If you insult me, I will insult you. If you come out with a half-baked uh, um, theory about the origin of any clan in Biafra land, I will correct you. If you want to be corrected. I studied Biafra for close to 18 years before coming out. I studied the Igbo race for 15 years. I studied Biafra for three years. Full-time course, I did. I taught myself. Anywhere the person is coming from, I will tell you where you come from, where you were born, where your ancestors come from. I have all the facts and figures. The thing is that we don't want to accept the truth. Everybody will be on their own. And I will remind you of what I said before, that people don't want to reason or think about it. Uh, any of the other clans in Biafra land, in fact, what is Igbo to start with? So, uh, Igbo, Igbo people, Igbo, who is Igbo? Let me ask you, sir. Who are the Igbo people? I am from Omaha. If somebody from Osaka is talking, can I understand what he or she is saying? If I speak, can they understand me? People don't know. They, 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 they people come out with things they don't know. They know little or nothing. And when you want to educate them, they don't want to be educated. And you ask them to bring out the facts you have, and you see they're very shallow and meaningless. The fact that you speak a different language or dialect doesn't mean uh, we are not different people. I'm asking you. Why, if we are not the same people, why do we have you? You, if we, if we, you run with the argument of Niger Delta and South South, that means that um, Akwa Ibom is part of South South, yes, and Akwa Ibom is part of Niger Delta, isn't it? Yes, we agree. That's that's what the zoo tells us. But in Niger land, do you have a conco in Niger? Do you have a in Niger? Do you have um Ekan Ekan in Niger? Is there any language of Ibibio or Afik that you speak in Niger land? I want to prove to you the foolishness of Nigeria and those who believe in Niger that answer. I say it open. If you consider it an insult, then so be it. But I'm giving you facts and figures. Is there any language, is there any word in Ibibio language, in Anang language, in Afik that you can speak in Niger land? Don't you understand? Are you in some fraternity? Because Okonko is not from Anang. Okonko is in um is in uh, uh is in Ibibio. Okonko is in Efik. Okonko is in is in is in Abia State. Okonko is in Abreba, is in Arochuku, is in Omoa, is in the whole the whole of Bende. Do you have Okonko in a job? Then how can it be in South South? How can it be in Niger Delta? Do you see the foolishness of the reasoning of some people? We are all one people. There will be no rancor, no distress, if not for the, what I call, I don't know what it is. The mission, let, me, let me give you an example. My dear brother, in Israel, the same nonsense that is happening to us happened to Israel. You know, that is why when I look at the similarities and comparisons, it's very, very uncanny. You know, when Israel was, was, was conquered, was one day, when they divided into two kingdoms, Israel divided after the death of Solomon into the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Southern kingdom is Judea and Benjamin. The northern kingdom are the other tribes. They later changed their name to Samaria. The southern part called themselves Judea. That was when the Hittites, that was when the Babylonians, that was when the Romans came and took them over because they were divided. Israel, Israel, Israel was divided. If you don't learn from that, you will never learn from anything else in your life. If you are divided, the enemies will take you. I have told you before and I will repeat. Did Igbo people conquer anybody in their history? And nobody conquered them. Because an average Igbo man is a Democrat and a Republican. Doesn't believe he can come to his house to tell him what to do. His house is his castle. And let me ask you one other question. Did you know about, there is nothing like you know about before. You had Oyo, 
empire that expanded and swallowed up Ijebu, the, the, the Ijebu people, so they swallowed up the Alaje people and all the rest of them. Don't you know that? Were they one, are they one people? They are not. Fulani came and conquered everybody, conquered house, I took their language. Today they are trying to push for food. The Igbo man do the same thing to the Igbo man. Instead, an Igbo man had to borrow the culture of Anna. Igbo man in Bende. Let me let me not use Igbo. Let me use Bende. Bende man had to go to Anna to learn he, to borrow his Okonko and Debe to tell you that we are one people. Anybody who is coming to debate us must be educated. They have to go to school many years over before you come. We are not fighting anyone. What I do is born out of love. I've been to Asari, I've been to Ankyo Briggs, I've been to everybody. I was the one that left United Kingdom to tour the whole of Iwacha, begging and asking our people, let us be one. Maybe by then you were in primary school. This was over 20 years ago that I was doing this because I know we are one people. If it, the only day I will stop talking about our unity, any day we do a referendum, and the job votes and says, we are not part of this family. If I talk about them again, I will die. Because I want to be able to tell God that these are your children. I, if I want, I would have taken five states before and gone when I was in prison. They came to me and said, take you both states. And I said, no. Not because I want him, John, not because I want to be you know, but I want to ask them, do you want to be here or not? With what is happening in Oguni, can't it teach people some lesson? Please, we are one people. Until you say otherwise in a referendum. You have a vote in a referendum. One man, one vote. You vote. And then after the whole thing, we count it. If you say you don't want to be part of the affair, I will say goodbye. Then you will see what Fulani will do to you. By the time they are finished with you, how will be better than you? Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Give it for the answer. Um, Asawa GJ, can we move over to um, our comrades from the house because uh, I believe they please. have what to tell um, Ali yeah, Dan. Thank you very much. Please, um, I think um, time is not more in our side because we have used our time and we have used more than our time. So I think um, it is, it is um, the right time, of course. Um, the, we, we, uh, of course, I believe our leader, we create um, um, the space to discuss with all the traditional rulers who have left um, due to uh, schedule, who, due to schedule, who have left um, the program because we are expecting a lot of them in this very in this very program because most of them actually bet for this program and um, of course we truly appreciate our leader Mazinam the Kano, the life of Africa uh, for giving them the privilege to discuss and of course as we can see he is a man of honor and, um, of course um, he is not loading it over anyone he is just only make, trying to tell us, or should I say, trying to make us reason as human that we are. Our leader will be catching a flight, which I believe um, we have to let him go. Please, um, comrade, uh, we use this opportunity to um, introduce to you my leader, um, the, 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 the co convener of this very program, the likes of, um, the likes of. Uh, of Yemuno, the likes of um, 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 my sister Tamuno uh, Toye, the likes of um, Ogenemaro or Lisa Donald, and if you want not go, Fetu Gala, and uh, including our mother, Madame Erewa, and um, some of our prominent Isoko leaders who, has, um, who do not have the opportunity to partake in this very program tonight. And of course, um, the traditional rulers have also said uh, they would like to have a more private meeting with you, sir. So this um, is just to show their solidarity with you, my leader, to show to you that, of course, um, no one can speak for them. 
either those who have come before them, either those who have separated themselves, and the speaker of the people that they have now stood up to speak for themselves, and they are ready to bring out the children, the sons and daughters, the able sons and daughters of every clan, or should I say, every ethnic city in the, the, in the river right area to make sure that we be a partaker of this very great uh, mission to restore the land that truly belongs to us because they have also understand and agree that of course we are not associating with Biafra but we are Biafra by birth. So I will quickly use this opportunity to give my comrade um, the opportunity to say thank you to you Mazen Nam Dekado. Idudu, please take the mic for a minute while it goes round like that. Yeah, um, okay. Uh, once again, my name is Idudu Bimundo. Uh, and it's about Biafra. Uh, I want to use the opportunity to say thank you to our leader. We have really, you know, uh, you know, you know taking a lot of his time. And uh, we thank you for his patience and uh, you know, his dedication to also listening to give us a listening ear. I say thank you, sir. Mazina de Kano. Thank you very much. And I thank all of you, all of you, all of you, every each and every one of you for this very unique um, um, opportunity given to me to address all of us here today gathered. We are one family, one people. We live apart from each other. We speak different languages and different dialects, but our DNA says that we are one people. Let us go and become free people as one, then we do to your tents, O Israel. That's what we want to do, because everybody will be on their own. It is the way we are wired, and that is what is going to happen. I thank all of you once again, and continue the good work that all of you are doing. I value it immensely. And we'll be having, should I say, private conversations as time goes on. Uh, but from me, from here, with all the love in my heart and the peace of God that I pray upon each and every one of you. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. My uh, Honorable Secretary, thank you very much, Uchenna uh, Okora. We say thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. And every other thing. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening. All hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. Um, we appreciate every one of you who have been a partaker of this very great uh, mission, or should we say, uh, very great gathering. And um, I believe, um, um, of course, our leader is not here, but he's still here with us. I don't know, maybe any of my comrades. I have one or two things to say. 